And we thought we'd film an old-fashioned haul video, but this is a random assortment of stuff that we got over Memorial Day weekend. It's been a couple years since we've been able to do any Memorial Day weekend shopping because obviously the flea market was closed in 2020 because of the pandemic and then last year I was having work done to my Jeep all that weekend so we didn't go anywhere. This is a haul of things we got at the flea market today and then what we purchased at Target today which we don't go to Target a lot but they were running online sales but the thing I really wanted wasn't available online I could only buy it in person. So we'll start with the flea market haul. It's kind of small, and the reason why you haven't seen any um, like up-to-date transformations from this year on my channel is because we've not had a very great flea market season. This happens, like 2012 wasn't a great one. Not counting the dollar each for admission this week, we spent $7 at the flea market, and that's actually been the high number. We really, we've had like, it's been a bad season. Yeah, so it comes and goes and we've been buying stuff online. So we thought we weren't gonna find anything. And then as we were on the last aisle, we noticed that there was a person who had a bunch of Barbie houses and um, like an American Girl day bed, some like larger play sets. And my spidey senses were tingling, like there's something over there we need. Well, the large play sets were interesting, we obviously don't have a lot of space to have huge things, so there's always more consideration taken, and there wasn't anything there that we really for the used condition for. that we like wanted to ask about. We walked down the rest of the aisle, and then as we came back, I noticed that the seller had like just boxes of stuff too, and I thought they must have dolls if they have all these doll play sets. And I noticed under the table there was this big tub with some hair sticking out of it, and it she got was. Very excited the most depressing bin of dolls ever. It was loaded with all dolls that were put out the past like at most six years and they were um, mostly MGA dolls so there was Rainbow High, there was um, OMG LOL Surprise and there was a few Descendants dolls who were like the older ones in the bin and there was like heads were off Tons of LOL heads. Not a stitch of clothing between any of the OMG dolls. Uh, some of the dolls were like painted on and then their original paint underneath was chipped. There was barely any clothes to go around. It was just like sad. And even if like we bought the whole bin, uh, there wouldn't have been whole dolls. Yeah, Maybe it was sad. Because you can't purchase uh, parts from MGA like you can or you used to be able to with Mattel with Monster High. It didn't make any sense to even buy the OMG dolls or consider buying it. And they also were naked and they don't make like OMG fashion packs and I don't have like a big collection of them with spare clothes. So we only got a few things they were And we reach. spent a long, long time looking for what was salvageable in that bin too. So the big doll was this Descendants signature Lonnie. They only made two Lonnies and I actually have both now. And at first I just saw the outfit and her hair was in her face and I was like, oh, just some Disney store Mulan. I'll get back to her later because <laughs> I saw the LOL tots. As we were about to get up and walk away, I had seen like Descendants Mal shoes in the bin and I'm like, hold up, hold the phone. That's Lonnie. She actually has her earrings and this is her outfit. She's missing shoes and a purse and like a little hair. And clip. this belt actually comes off so we're lucky it was still with her. Yeah, and um, it's really cool. She was uh, one of my favorite characters when they first came out with this line. I know, so I have huge fondness for Lonnie. Then we got two other dolls. They had a lot of tots. The tots, it broke Mostly the tots heads. And this happened last year too, um, in September when we found tots. Lots of body swapping. So I found um, the Amazing BB from the Hair Goals line. She's in really good shape. I love this line. It's one of my absolute favorites. It's the Series 2 Hair Goals, and she's um, in the same series as my little pirate, I.I. She's adorable. She has her cape. She has her shoes. She even has one of her little hair bobbles. And for a dollar, you can't go wrong. And then Paw Part, she's the original Paw Part. I actually have the movie magic one. Around She's over on the balcony up over by uh, See Where's Princess. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted the movie magic studios pack when it went on sale was because I loved this doll in particular and her head was off and her outfit was not on. I happened to see her head floating and then a minute later somewhere else in the container I saw the little polka dot tights and I'm like that's Pop Art's body. She's mm -hmm. actually the re-release um, that they put out and it was like a confetti reveal wine because she has a 2020 ELE stamp. So that's how I know. 
Um, interesting thing about us, we hoard American Girl underwear. I got these two pairs for a dollar. I think this is Kit's. Maybe it's Rebecca's. Um, and these might be Julie's Missing the Butterfly logo from her Be Forever outfit. But I'm not sure. They could also be Girl Today. They have to wear panties. They have to have underwear, so that's very important. But the pièce de résistance from the flea market is Piper, Kikor Piper, Katie's older sister, Kelsey's younger sister. She's a skipper clone. Uh, yep, and she was actually marketed as Kelly's younger sister because um, Kelsey was Kelly before Mattel stole that name. She's not wearing any of her clothes, but the backstory is today's Sunday. On Friday night, Shelly found a Piper doll on eBay for about ten dollars, brand new in the box. All said and done. With and I was over the moon because I've wanted one for a long time. And it's not that I haven't seen some that I could buy, but, you know, during this time of year, I try to, like, save stuff like that for winter when we're not flea marketing. But she was so cheap, I'm like, I would never find one in that good shape at the flea market. So I bought her. Saturday morning, come to find out, the seller had refunded my money, made absolutely no comment to me about it, and then relisted her as a bid instead of a buy it now. So, you know, obviously they made a mistake with their listing, they screwed up, and then instead of having the courtesy to tell me they made a mistake, I relisted her, please bid if you're interested. No, no communication at all. They just refunded my money and I got the notification from eBay saying they did so. I was furious and very upset and she was furious and very upset on my behalf. Shelly spotted at a regular seller's booth inside Shelly saw Piper. She was and she next was in this to a picture frame and like some other random crap that wasn't all related. And yeah, and she was in the weirdest spot and I don't know how Shelly saw her. The spidey um, The lady said we could have her three for three dollars and she's not wearing any of her own clothes. But we know um, what everything she's wearing is. So. Yes, we identified all these. Pants are Brooke Shields. The shirt is 80s Barbie. And I think this is the same rain jacket I have for my Stacey dolls. I just love her. I've always wanted a Piper, so it was one of those, like, perfect timing things. So we bought her, um, and that was it for the flea market. But seeing all those sad, sad LOL and OMG dolls today made us think about how cheap they are right now on Amazon. And Target was running a sale this week, and Shelly remembered. We didn't want to go to the store. We wanted to, like, you know, see if we could order online, like Shelly said at the beginning of the video. But... One of these things wasn't available online anymore, and uh, they only had it like four left in stock at the store. And we don't get up that way much, and I didn't know when we'd be up that way because. Um, and I called the store to make sure it would be the same price. Yeah, so they will price match too, which I wasn't sure about. Yeah, that's what they told me. Over the um, some of the things were different price in store, but most of the things were the same. So while we were there, it was like a mass sale on a lot of things. Um, these are hair 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 dolls so we have valley bb and edm bb now if you've been following my lol surprise journey since the very beginning of 2020 then you would know that my first dolls were hair goals these are re repackaged hair goals wave two and you can see that they have the new style packaging where you can see what's in it, which I prefer. I don't like the gambling element of LOL Surprise. I'll spare you the rant about how wasteful and like awful it is. <laughs> but I even looked at these dolls on eBay before because I really loved them. But I'm glad I waited because these were half off. So these are typically like $16 just about. They were around eight each. And since they're specific ones I wanted and they do come with like little hair bobbles and stuff, I decided, screw it, I'm just gonna buy them now. That way if they're at the flea market and they're like missing things, I don't have to feel bad because I saw Rainbow Raver today at the flea market. And she was just by heart. So sad. And then also something they had on sale, which I've had my eye on for a long time, is this movie magic a ball. It has a doll in it. Again, it's annoying that I don't know who's inside, but these come with like really cool movie accessories and I love this line. I have the big Movie Magic Studios set that I got on sale not long after it came out and I've been dying to buy one of these, but I was like, no, you don't need to spend $10. So this was actually $3.20 and like 20 cents, and that's a pretty good deal because they come with um, pretty large extra accessories. So I got Miss Perfect from the Movie Magic Studios line. I think she's super cute. She's got this little money hat. She looks like she works at a hotel to me, like a bellhop. Um, she definitely wasn't one of the ones that I remembered. She's super cute and for three dollars and like 20 cents, you can't go wrong. This is what we went there for. Oh my god, I can't even fit in frame. I'll show you all this stuff once we open it. 
This is the OMG Series 2 4 pack that was 50% off. So, um, the Series 2 dolls aren't in stores anymore, and um, this is a Target exclusive. So, really, one of the first OMG dolls I ever noticed was Busy BB over here, and I love her outfit. And then I also really like Candy Wishes because she's candy themed, and the other two are cool too, Alt, Alt Girl and Miss Independent. And I just find like getting these packs for me as someone who's more of a top collector than an OMG collector is just better and more fun because I like getting them. And oh. even with the tots, you can't go wrong if you can get one of these packs on sale. Like, um, And I really had fun. I have Series 1. I have a Series 1 pack of these that I got last year on the same sale, but I also had a gift card, so I didn't pay anything for it. It was great <laughs> and wonderful. The last thing that we got, which was not on sale, which I had no excuse to buy, but this shouldn't surprise you, is Rock Angels Roxy. Yeah, she's um, actually more expensive than the regular re-releases of the Rock Angels, the 20 years. I don't know why she's like two dollars more, but um, I've been buying some of these re-released brats, like the ones that I need. And by need, I mean the dolls that I didn't have the originals of, or the ones that are brand new dolls that aren't re-releases. And then there's like maybe one or two of the like ones I have but weren't in very nice condition. But I've been stocking them and slowly as time goes on, I've been buying them like when they get returned to the Amazon warehouse or on sales or with offers. I haven't shown them all on my channel. Roxy's currently not on Amazon, only through like third party sellers. She's like $60. And I was she like, wasn't even where the other Rock Angels were in the toy section yeah. either. And when I had been online looking and it was saying like what was in stock at our store, it said that she was in stock. But when we were looking at the brat section, she wasn't there, and I thought they made a mistake. But she is so pretty. I thought I, I could probably save a little money on her later, but I'm here, she's here. I might as well just like do it because I've got every other brat doll I have bought like since they started putting them back out has been on some kind of sale. And even with the 2018 brats, the only one that I did not get on any kind of sale was Sasha. The 2018 Sasha. So I, it's like I owe it to MGA to at least fork over some money. <laughs> and I never had Rock Angels Roxy, and my guinea pig Roxy, who is now passed away, was named after Brad's Roxy. So she's very special, and I love her. My Rock Angels Sasha that I got from Amazon, uh, who I don't know if you can see her, she's like up here. She's already on display. It was a return, and uh, someone actually returned her after stealing stuff out of the package, which is why she was $15 off. But I don't think the people at Amazon knew that. So I was kind of like, mm, I'd like to get one that at least has like all of her tiny fixings. She's awesome. So we'll be back once we open up the dolls and you can see what they look like. I'll probably show you once they're all like clean. Um, because even the new dolls were going to do stuff with their hair. So it's the next morning. All of the dolls we washed last night. Dressed them this morning now that they were dry. And I just took pictures of them for Flickr, so if you want to see pictures of them and what they came with, like their accessories, it's all on my Flickr, rather than showing like random video clips. And um, my movie magic doll is already on display right there by the stairs. So we'll start with Rock Angel's Roxy. She's probably my favorite thing, uh, just because I love Roxy dolls so much, and she has this really cool red hair that you can't really see in the package. And she's got this gorgeous face, which is part of why I decided to get her in person. Not that I care if a doll is wonky, but she was just so pretty, such a particularly beautiful specimen. And her clothes are perfect. Oh, I just love her so much. And she's definitely worth the money. Uh, then we have my OMG 4 pack. So we have Miss Independent, Candylicious, Busy BB, and All Girl. So Candylicious and Busy BB are definitely the two that I would have considered buying separately. And I actually have like poked around before on Amazon and eBay to see like what Busy BB um, sells for because I just love her, her little look. You'll know that they're not wearing all of their layers. It was just like super bulky and if I couldn't get the items to close right, I just took the extra pieces and bagged them and put them away. I love Miss Independence micro braids and the tinsel in her hair. And she's got this amazing glittery makeup and this very, like, I don't know, 4th of July ish theme. Colin thinks she reminds her of Pepsi. Yes. <laughs> Especially the bathing suit part. Then Candylicious. I mean, who doesn't love a sugary sweet doll? I love candy themed dolls, um, like my Cotton Candy Style Moxie Girls. I really wish I had had her when we filmed our Gloria candy and ice cream store 
quote review last year. She would have been perfect for that. I love her earrings. They're awesome. And then Busy BB is probably my favorite. I just love her farm girl, you know, work boots and overalls. I think I'm going to be using this outfit a lot on Colette, who's my spicy babe over there sitting on the toilet. There was something really annoying that happened with this necklace. I thought I checked all the tissue paper, but somehow when I was dressing the dolls and I was looking at photos um, for reference, I realized, hmm, I don't see a necklace here. And then I checked my photo I took for Flickr and I didn't have a necklace pictured. So then I luckily don't throw away the tissue paper. I put it aside for crafting or recycle it. And I found it tucked in one of the corners of the tissue paper. It's not the first time this has happened. I've actually accidentally thrown out things before. Oh, the girl, she's awesome. I love her like bumblebee-ish looking hair. And she's got this really cool outfit. The little tight latex looking jumper did not fit over all of these layers well for me. But she's cool. I actually um, didn't remember her from the OMG line, but she's super cool and I love punky themed dolls. She kind of reminds me of Pretty and Punk Bratz. I have my uh, two of my flea market rescues over here. Signature Lonnie. I did flat iron her hair just as a preventative because she had a few little frizzy bits at the ends. I usually do that with my Descendants dolls because they have nylon and she looks gorgeous. Lonnie is such a beautiful character and I love getting more Descendants dolls. And then this is Piper calling dressed her up in a skipper fashion because those other pieces we identified and put away. And I did have to flat iron her hair because the curls were so matted and I tried to sort them out but when I put them in the boil wash it just didn't fix the frizziness and then the upper parts of the curls were kind of flattening out so I decided to flat iron her and then crimp her so she has these like really crazy crimps and I thought that that would help because she kickwear dolls A aren't rooted well and B typically with any doll if they have a lot of texture in their hair the companies won't put as many rows of hair plugs because they need to compensate for the volume so she didn't have many hair plugs so this kind of masks that. And then we have my adorable little people. We have Valley BB. Her hair still looks wild even though I boil washed it. I love all the different rainbow colors. And then we have the amazing BB who was one of the second hand dolls from the flea market. I had to sort out the thatching on the back of her head. It was a pain. Her hair was totally messed up and she's got this really wonky eyebrow which is cute. And then Pop Art doesn't look that, Pop Heart doesn't look that different because she was plastic, but I did wash her. She color changes really well still. And then we have EDMBB, who was like my most wanted LOL for a long time. And uh, she also got her hair washed. She's adorable. Just as adorable as I always hoped she would be. What are your thoughts, Colleen? I think they're all spectacular. What's your favorite besides Piper? I don't know. I, I really like them all, to be honest. I don't even know if Piper's my favorite. I really do like Roxy, but I also have a thing for Miss Independent. I love that blue hair. <laughs> she is cool. Not just because she reminds me of the Pepsi can. Can delicious. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. Like I said, there are pictures of all these dolls on my Flickr, pictures of all of their outfits and accessories, and additional information. If you're interested, you don't need a Flickr to view that. And until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.